So I heard you are living in Kochi. So what's your plan long term? <laughs> yeah. You know, Kochi is such a great place, but there's not a lot of foreigners who live here. But I chose Kochi because I love the city, I love the people, and also nightlife, food, restaurant, drinking, the big culture here. So I really like to meet people and I love talking. So it's just, it's, it's an awesome place to be. And in America, I was a manager of a country club uh, for five years off and on. So for example, I had two restaurants, two bars. I have over 20 years experience in that industry. So my long-term goal, I'm hoping within the next five years, uh, I can buy an old uh, alleyway bar in Kochi and slowly make it my own version, kind of mix American and Japanese culture into one small bar. So that's my dream. So that's the main reason why I live in Kochi, because I have a dream to open a small little izakaya bar in Kochi. Kochi. Hampane. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, you say that you cannot see so many foreigners in Kochi. Mm. Do you often see the uh, people from USA? Uh, not so often. I think in Kochi, there's around 100 foreigners from the U.S., but typically they are JIT program English teachers, mm -hmm. so they're here for five years, and then a lot of them go back to the countries, mm -hmm. or they stay and get married and have kids. Um, but there's not so many Americans in Kochi because of the visa issue. It's quite difficult long-term to get a visa. Mm -hmm. But if you get married with Japanese, you're set. It's easy <laughs> to live in Kochi. It's really easy to live in Kochi if you get married with Japanese uh, national.